spot you two goals real quick. And what happened there? Turn it around. It's a great question. Um, not sure. I'll have to go back and watch. We uh, we definitely um, let off. Definitely had a let off after we scored the second one. And uh, in fairness to Portland, we were second best the rest of the night. So um, we have some young players on the team. I don't think even our players that have been around are used to being out to 2-0 leads that quick. So how we manage that and to grow in the mentality to go get the third goal and really try to put the game away as quickly as possible and we had them on the ropes a bit, uh, that's something we'll have to grow into. Right. Was that a little bit of identity change? A little bit? Like the going up quick? Uh, I'm not sure what our identity is right now, to be honest. You know, the, uh, the identity we had the last two years definitely would not have seen us lose out on as many first and second balls as we did tonight. Uh, I know we had a lot of fouls in the first half, but our fouls were pushing somebody in the back or clipping somebody in the heels. Uh, Julie had two fouls that count, but yeah, we were just, just second best. I mean, they just uh, they got the better of us on first balls, second balls, and the 50-50 balls. You know, Portland's good. I mean, they've got a good team. So uh, we'll have to figure out something different when we get them next time. Julie, can you talk about the save that you made with the header on the line or above the line there? <laughs> um, I headed it out. <laughs> I mean, um, we kind of talk about it. I'm with KK as well, and I know what KK is blocking, and I know what's open. So um, as the ball went over me, I didn't really have anything to do except for um, – save or get whatever spot KK couldn't get. So luckily the ball went to me and got it figured out. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> One other follow-up question. What about the defense that you saw in the back? How did they kind of work well, especially in the second half going against the wind? What did you see? Um, we're definitely, as games go on, are getting better and better. and. Um, we kind of lost some grit, I think, towards the second end uh, or the second half as well. So I think as long as we tighten up our lines and and um, just some, a few things that we need to fix as well. But at the end of the day, I feel like we were pretty um, solid and on the same page, um, minus a few few plays. Now, Karina, the goal that uh, Sinclair scored, uh, Token was all over the place and sent the ball in. Can you? What were you watching at that time? Uh, the ball. <laughs> uh, I think it, it was just a bit of a scramble. I was trying to find the ball, and Sink hit the ball. Well, as she usually does. So disappointed in it, you know. It's just a matter of it's like just trying to find the ball. In that case, as a goalkeeper, just trying to find the ball because there's a lot of people and legs and whatnot. So, I mean. I mean, we hate giving up goals. So, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of goals it is. We're disappointed to allow them to come back. Um, we're frustrated, but it's a great lesson to learn early in the season. Um, as Rory was talking about last year, last Red Stars are a team of grit and relentless, and we're going to get that DNA back. So I think it sucks, but it's a great lesson for us, and especially the younger kids to learn early in the season. And when you have a team like Portland, they're going to teach you some lessons. So. It's about us going home, figuring out why, and then moving forward to get three points next weekend. Talking about the other team, the coaches say that you guys are definitely a playoff team. What do you think about the, the other team, how they play today? I think he's being very generous. and feels very good about how his team played tonight, so he was probably in a good mood. Um, we have aspirations to be a playoff team and more, but we obviously have some things we're going to have to get better at, and we're going to have to continue to grow as a group. and figure out who we're going to be this year and who's going to lead that charge. Does it help playing some better competition in the beginning, especially like you were saying with the younger girls, to kind of get them that experience, okay, this is what it's all about at this level? Uh, yeah. You know, I think everybody everybody comes in at their own pace. I mean, Julie jumped in last year, and in the first exhibition game in Kansas City, we basically said, did you lead the line with the 20s at the World Cup? And she said yes, and we said, great, this is your line, good luck. You know, and she took it and ran with it. Um, I think the ones that we have this year are different kinds of players. You know, Danny had a lot of success and a lot of time and space at Virginia. Um, Aaron basically ran up and down the sideline like a maniac at Kentucky. Um, and Soph kind of had carte blanche at Santa Clara based off what they needed her to do her last year. So 
I think they're all kind of growing in quick. I thought Carr came in and probably should have put her a little bit earlier and held up two balls and let us move the game out of our end a bit and get us into their end. So those guys are all going to play a big role when it goes. Um, but I wouldn't. I would like to think that it doesn't matter who we're playing for them to play. They just need to play. Right. Right. I mean, a game is a game, and they've played thousands of games, and they just need to find their way with this team. And I have no doubt they will. I mean, all four of those guys are going to be big pieces of what we do. Uh, just, Julie, just get your reaction to and your feelings about going into the World Cup now. Um, I mean, I'm always excited. I mean, I still have one more game, so I think right now it's me to get prepared, play well with this team. Um, for next weekend and then um, after the game I think really kind of buckled down and um, I think our, our coaches and as well as the U.S. Uh, coaches as well have done a really good job of uh, preparing us um, with the NWSL as well as for the World Cup. So right now um, after this game look for the next game and then I think after the game uh, go back again with the national team. Are you mad he didn't ask about Canada? Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> oh, okay. Are you happy to come to my country? Yeah, How do you, I mean, you're going to be the host now, so is that a little more pressure on you? or? No, I, I think it's, we, we're embracing it. I mean, whenever you get to host a home cup, World Cup, it's, it's an opportunity. And as you guys have seen here in this country, it's an opportunity to inspire a generation and a nation. So we're embracing it. We're looking forward to it. I mean, it's an absolute honor. Like just you asking her that question, I'm smiling because I'm like, huh, wow, we got to work up at home. So, you know, it's it's something we're looking forward to and from so many aspects. But it, it's going to be fun. And, you know, I just love playing with this girl. I love coming back into the club and playing with the internationals and playing with the rookies and playing. I mean, this is a great squad. And I don't think you're going to see a drop off in the World Cup because Rory's brought some top players in, and it's about us finding identity and just being the best that we can be. And, you know, we'll be watching from Canada, yeah. the great country of Canada. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's exciting. I love it. I asked uh, Christine uh, Sinclair the same thing but, uh, about the turf field situation. Mm -hmm. Does that affect your game, change your game plan at all, either one of you? Um, I mean, we've known the whole time it's turf, so we've been training and planning on it. I mean... You can use it as a disadvantage, but for us, like, it, it is what it is, and it's not going to make a difference for us. It's playing a beautiful game and putting on a display of women's soccer for the world to see whether or not it's turf or grass. I think it's a game changer. I think many people wish it was on grass field. It's just the type of identity I feel like you want in a World Cup um, with, but, I mean, soccer soccer, and both our teams, I mean, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play the way and we you, play. And, and you knew that it was going to be turf fields when they went into the yeah. Thanks for coming. Go Hawks. <laughs> <laughs> it's over? Yeah. Now we just need the blues to lose.